uh, planning board's budget this evening. Um, the uh, bottom line number is 152,493. That is a 1.05% increase. Um, the only increases within the budget are under the staff development lines and the supply and expenses lines. Under staff development, I show an increase from 1240 to 1500. That is actually the third year that we've proposed that because of the default budget the two prior years. The reason for that is the certified <coughs> plug plan manager credential that I earned <coughs> in 2017, in addition to the AICP that I maintained, the planning uh, certification. And also that, we, you know, I'd like to have Lori give us some training opportunities as well yeah. that, that I think would be beneficial. And that line will, will go over budget this year just by a little bit. So that 1500 will be helpful to us. Under supplies and expenses, we're showing an increase from 3598 to 4200 <coughs> um, That increase, a lot of that has to do with unantic unanticipated costs with the HP uh, printer that we share with the building department mm -hmm. in conservation. The... Uh, ink cartridges and, and such have been a little more costly than, than we've anticipated. So uh, we have to account for that. That's a lot of why we were a little bit over budget in 2018 and we want to account for that this year. Other than that, everything's exactly the same and I would entertain any questions that anybody has. Mr. Waddell. I'm set. Thank you, Jason. Mary Louise. Jason, we're proud of you and thank you very much. Good job. You're welcome. I agree and I hope you get a master plan. Thank you. Yes, <laughs> he will. And he will. Be good. Be He's good, good for I it. totally agree. There's um, one thing I would like yes. to bring up while you Certainly. are here. Uh, it's just not about the budget, but it's something that um, is pertinent for right now, and it's about the rail rail trail. Yes. Ah. Uh, what is going on there, Fred? We're currently having town council examine the last correspondence from the state. Uh, to determine whether or not we can bring this to the board for final resolution. Mm -hmm. So, because I understand that there's no way that these figures can be changed when you're dealing with state contracts. Well, <clears throat> the state has pointed out that under Article 15. Statute 9-9, okay, the town has exactly the same statute in Articles 31, 33, and 35. So we're, we're sort of in a bind between us and we need to work out an acceptable solution. And we're not the only town wrestling with this. What other towns are? All the towns except for the town of Greenland. So only Greenland has signed on to this? They're, they're the only ones that have agreed so far with the state. Mm -hmm. I think we'll all come there, but I think we'll, we'll come there on some basis that we all understand what's going on. And is there a timeline involved? Uh, no, there's no timeline set yet. I mean, mm -hmm. we're trying to get this resolved. Council has just finished a major uh, effort dealing with um, several cases he's working on, and I've, I've directed him to please get right to this so we can get it straightened out and get mm -hmm. it taken care of. Mm -hmm. And I was just going to say, I know that Jason has been a big, he's heard plenty <clears throat> of uh, input from uh, I, yes, I do. I regularly attend the meetings of that of that uh, group, and uh, I think it's a very worthwhile project. I'd love to see it, you know, move forward, and I'm hoping that that you know we can get that um, any with the agreement worked out so that and we can. And you hear a lot of support. And I do hear a lot mm -hmm. of support in the community. Yes. Yeah. Um, Regina. Yes, I hear some support. I'm also. I think the project is a great project as long as the town of Hampton doesn't have to pay for it, like it has for things in the past. So I'm sure that uh, the agreement will get settled so that we will remain exempt from all those things the way that Town Manager Welch said it signed up before, which is what the, is the agreement that I agreed to. So if there's going to be any amendments to that, it could possibly make me change my mind about the project. So you're saying that you don't support it if the, uh, it goes forth with the way the, sound, the state is suggesting? Well, I think I would like to wait for Mark to be done with his review. Okay, and Mr. Waddell? Fred, are you sure that I was told that, that Northampton, Portsmouth, Hampton Falls had all signed? Every town had signed. But I, I, None of them were accepted except for Greenland. Hmm. What does that mean? All the towns met together. And we, 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 we decided upon a resolution because we were concerned that <clears throat> when it comes right down to the bottom line here, that we were required to insure the state and all of its operations, and they are required to not insure anything, yeah. in addition to all of our operations. And we said there needs to be some sort of an adjustment 
Um, the state has been very forceful about that. They do not wish to have an adjustment. Uh, I, frankly, I, I don't see why we should pay their workers' compensation expenses and other expenses, but that's what it boils down to. Uh, we think that th they should go back and reevaluate that and look at mm -hmm. it from a sensible standpoint of if you assign one of your employees to do something, you're responsible for him. If we assign an employee to do something, we're responsible for him. But we're not responsible for all of your employees plus all of our employees. Um, that's kind of where we're at uh, from an insurance standpoint, and I think we can come to a middle ground. I think there's a middle ground to come to. Yeah. And what about um, when will Mark have his input? He is working on it now. I expect probably within the week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Mrs. Walsley? I've been hoping to see that issue on our agenda once we get finished with doing our budget uh, options here. We need to go back to regular agendas, and I think we need a lot of time <coughs> to talk about that rail trail nonsense, especially the money involved. So um, when will we be finished, or when will we have time on our agenda to put that on? Public Works is on next week. That completes the agendas. The, mm -hmm. As far as your review of warrant, uh, the review of budgets are concerned, you then have to decide how you're going to vote on the budgets. You can do that either this week or next. Uh, once that's done, we're done with them, and we certify them to the, plan, to the uh, budget committee, and the budget committee starts their, their process okay. of overlooking the budget. I know they want to start someplace around the first or second week in November, so we're getting quite tight on that time frame. Council's been t directed or requested to do this as soon as possible so that you can have it on, I'm hoping to get it on your next agenda. Okay, well, let's put it on the following week so he doesn't have to hurry, uh, which would be what? What the next, not next appointment, be but the, the first, next one. first Monday in, uh, in uh, November. Okay. Uh, so we'll have Christina pre please put that on sure. there so that we yeah. can yeah. make sure people have time that might want to yeah. come to the meeting. Yeah. Regina? Yeah, but like I said, I think we might need time to discuss this, and then we have a set of our own Warren articles dealing with infrastructure on our own property that we have to uh, prepare for. So, mm -hmm. Well, we're going to have it put, like I just said, on the agenda for the yeah. following week after that. Okay. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Thank you very much. And, yeah.